Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. So we have already learned about the word problems from addition. Today we will learn about word problems in subtraction. Look at this example. 78,453 milk booths in a city. 29,876 belong to brand A. Find the number of booths of other brands. So did you understand the question? You are given the total number of milk booths in a city. And it is said in the question that this much 29,876 belong to brand A. It means out of this 78,453, 29,876 booths are the ones belonging to brand A. So you are asked to find the number of booths of the other brands. So what do you have to do? This is the total number of booths we have. This number belongs to brand A. So to find number of booths of other brands, what you have to do? You have to subtract the number of booths of brand A from the total number of milk booths in the city. So let's see how we can write the steps. What all are given as data in the question? You can write as steps for the word problem. So total number of milk booths in the city equals 78,453. Now the number of booths of brand A that is equal to 29,876. Now number of milk booths of other brands equal to the total number of milk booths minus the number of milk booths of brand A. Let's substitute the numbers. So gives you 78,453 minus 29,876. Let's see how we can subtract these two numbers. We can do the subtraction in your working column. So 78,453 minus 29,876. Let's start with the ones. 3 minus 6 we cannot do. So we borrow 1 from the tens place. So that will make this one 13 and this one 4. Now it's 13 minus 6 it is 7. Now we cannot do 4 minus 7. So what do we do? We borrow again. So borrowing 1 from here. So this is changed to 3 and this is changed to 14 tens. 14 minus 7 it is 7. Now here it is 3 minus 8. Again we have to borrow. So borrowing 1 from here, this is 13, 13 minus 8, it is 500. Then we have 7 minus 9, again we, we borrow, so that will make this 7, 17, 17 minus 9, it is 8. Now you have 6 minus 2, what is the answer? 6 minus 2, it is 4. So this is the number of milk booths that belong to the other brands in the city. So it is 48,577. Let's see one more example. There are 6,21,985 teak and lemon trees in a park. If 2,11,089 of the trees are teak, how many of them are lemon trees? So it's about the total number of trees in a park and some trees are teak trees and some are lemon trees. You are given the total number of trees in the park that is this much teak and lemon trees. You are also given the number of teak trees in the question. You have to find out the number of lemon trees. How do you do that? If you subtract the number of teak trees from the total number of trees you have in the park, you get the number of lemon trees in the park. Let's write down all the data given in the questions. So total number of trees equal to 6,21,985. Number of teak trees equal to 2,11,089. Now number of lemon trees equal to the total number of trees minus number of teak trees. Let's substitute the numbers. So that will give you this subtraction. Let's see how we can find the difference. So it's 6 lakh 21,985 minus 2,11,089. Now we cannot do 5 minus 9. So we borrow 1 from here. So this is changed to 15 ones and this is changed to 7 tenths. 15 minus 9, you get 6. 
7 minus 8 we cannot do again we borrow so this is changed to 8 and this is changed to 17 so 17 minus 8 we get 9 now 8 minus 0 any number minus 0 is the number itself so 8 minus 0 it is 8 itself now 1 minus 1 it is 0 2 minus 1 it is 1 6 minus 2 it is 4 so what is the number of lemon trees in the park it is 4 lakh 10,896. So I hope this was clear to you. Now all of you uh, take your textbook and go to the word problems given as examples in your textbook from the topic subtraction of 5 and 6 digit numbers. Then you have to go to exercise 2.4 the question numbers 2, 3 and 4. Those are word problems. You have to note down the question as well as the answer in your notebook then take a picture and send us also in the same page itself page number 28 you can see this box this question in a purple box you have to go through that question and do accordingly so that's all for today we'll meet in the next class until then bye